Hey guys, we're back with another Zoe tutorial. We're here at Learn Robotics Studio and I'm going to be showing you how to interface a distance sensor or range finder to measure distances and then control a servo motor. So we're going to be converting distance measurements or distance readings in inches to an angular measurement that we can display by turning the servo to a specific location. So we've already wired up our circuit. You can go online and you can find some wiring diagrams for both of these projects. Um, you can either go on the Zode website, go to xod.io and search the tutorial section, or you can just search Google, type in Arduino, um, ultrasonic distance finder wiring diagram with servo. Um, and then the second project that we're gonna look at is how to interface a button with our LED. So let's hop right into the code. Just go up, I've already named mine tutorial three for this example. We're gonna start off today with a easier project. We're gonna control the LED that I have wired in with a button. So just click somewhere on the patch, type the I. This will bring up your search menu. You're gonna type in button, and then we're gonna do the same. We'll get grab an LED. And essentially what we want to do is we want to take the output of the button and feed that as the input of the LED brightness. So when the button is pressed, we want the LED to turn on. That looks good. What we'll do now is we'll go down to the inspector. You can choose to give it a name using this flag field. Since we only have one button and one LED, I'm not going to name it right now. We've got our button. It's plugged into port 7 on the Arduino. And then we'll go up to our LED. Our LED is plugged into port 11. Okay. So once you have that set up, you can go up to deploy, make sure your Arduino is plugged in and upload to Arduino. Choose your board. I'm using an Uno and I've got it plugged into my USB port. So now we can go ahead and click upload. Okay, it's successfully uploaded. We'll go over to our button and when we press it, you can see that the light turns on. And that was pretty simple. So that was the first project. We're gonna do a more complicated project right now. We're going to add in our range finder. So what we'll do is we'll Type in ultra, ultrasonic range, bring that over. We also are going to need a servo node. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a servo. And essentially what you do with the ultrasonic, I'm gonna open up this help menu just to show you guys another feature of the Zoid software. When you click on a node and you type the letter H, it'll bring up this menu and the menu will tell you everything you need to know about the node. So you'll see we've got the trig, the echo, and the ping. The trig and the echo are the ports that are plugged into the actual sensor on the Arduino. And then we've got um, a distance, which is a number measured in meters that is returned from the sensor. So what we'll do is we'll go back to here. We've got our trig plugged into five, and we've got our echo plugged into four. And then our distance is actually going to be the output. And I'm going to actually convert this distance in meters to a distance in inches. So if you type in inch, you'll find this feature called units meters to inch. So I'm going to select that one. And this will automatically do your calculation conversion for you. And now that we've got our measurement in inches, we want to take the inch measurement and translate that to an angle measurement. And to do that, we're gonna use a node called map range. And the map range will take basically two different units and convert them into the same map. So we'll take our input in inches and start that off. We wanna go from we'll say zero to five inches, and we want that translated from zero degrees to 180 degrees. In this case, it'd be zero to one for the servo. 
and the output of that is going to correlate to the input servo angle. So let's go ahead and make sure we've got our servo connected. Our servo is on port number nine. So we'll go ahead and add that in. And that looks like we've got everything. So what I'll do is I'll go up to deploy, upload our Arduino. And the cool thing is, is our button and our project for this ultrasonic sensor should all be contained in the same thing. So everything should still work. So we'll go ahead and test that out. All right, everything looks like it's uploaded. You can see that our button still works. Pretty cool. And now, as I trigger the sensor, you'll see that the servo starts to move. So now I'm, I'm just about outside of this five inch range. So this range finder isn't reading my hand. But now as I creep a little bit closer, you'll start to see it react a little bit more. So yeah, this was a complex tutorial on the Zode software. As complicated as the topics are of mapping different units and converting units is, Zode makes it super easy. The, the nodes are already built in. There's a, their library is very comprehensive. And it literally took me a matter of minutes to do an inch calculation, well actually a measurement in meters, convert that to inches and translate that to an angle in degrees. So if you like this tutorial, please click the like button below, leave a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to check out the Zode software, it's xod.io. And for more information about Learn Robotics, visit learnrobotics.org. This has been Liz from Learn Robotics. See you in the next tutorial.